Hello and welcome to a new creature update slash tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking about the new creature 3D rig and other fancy feature additions we have had that have added to the new creature 3D alpha. So join me in this very exciting video where I'm going to talk about these various features that we have added to creature 3D. The new additions to the new alpha all have to do with a lot of rigging. We're actually constantly trying to improve the efficiency and the performance of the work rigging workflow to help you aid you in rigging up your characters. So let's jump into rigging mode and see what we have. So here I have a standard human bipedal rig. Now if I go into the rig, this new tab over here, this is a new feature we've added. You'll see we have two options. We can actually export our rig if there's a rig but there isn't, where you can actually export your own custom rig. And then you can import it in the future, your own custom feature rig to import it in and then use it for your own purposes. In other words, you can actually now save out and import in rigs and reuse them for all your characters in the future. This should speed up your rigging workflow very quickly. But in addition to that, we not only have importing your own custom rigs, we also have three and in the future a lot more predefined standard template rigs or rig templates you can use for your own rigging purposes. Again, these will be very, very useful, especially when you're starting from ground up with an empty, with just a mesh and no rig, an empty rig, right? So here I'm going to pick human, and let's see what we get. And immediately, look at this, I already have a standard human rig, and here on the right rig browser, you can see they are named appropriately. All these bones are named appropriately. So you can see how quickly you can get going with this new rig feature. Now, you can also do lots of stuff with it. You can easily position it in the rig mode. So globally, you can position all the bones and all the hotkeys work. So I can rotate scale. I can obviously scale the rig, right? I can scale up and down, right? So you can see that all the things you expect from a standard rigging process are in there. And this will allow you to really rig quickly with the new Creature 3D Alpha. Now, I want to emphasize again, we have different kinds of rig templates. We have a human, a bipedal human rig. We have a quadrupedal rig, which is for four-legged animals, and a flyer rig for flying animals. So feel free to explore what you can do with it. In the future, we're going to add even more predefined standard template rigs. So stay tuned for that as well. I think it's all very, very exciting. Now, once you have the standard rig, the next thing you want to do is obviously to weigh your rig. The auto-weighting feature, where you can actually put a bunch of cylinders or capsules and then you know allow all the regions in the capsules to be weighted automatically has also been improved quite a bit. There are actually now actual manipulators. So I can actually look at this. I can actually drag this. I can actually drag these guys visually, which actually allows me to quickly align, align and size up all these different different proxy shapes. So this is very, very convenient. Of course, I can also do scaling. So look at this. I can easily scale these. I can easily align and scale. So this allows you to place your proxy shapes and then do auto raking very, very fast. Again, this is another, I think, great feature addition to the new Creature 3D workflow for rigging. I hope you guys appreciate this because this should actually speed up your rigging workflow by quite a bit. So here I'm actually sizing these guys up just as an example. And then of course I'll size all these guys up and then I'll just come here and I'll run it for all bones. You can see for example it's actually weighted some of the various reason, re regions you know, within, within those uh, properly. And of course I, do, I have to have to size the, the different proxy shapes to make sure they encapsulate the different parts of the body. Now, of course, the manual rigging workflow has also been vastly improved. Now, there's actually a fully GPU accelerated manual painting, rig painting uh, workflow. So you can see how fast it is. It'll take advantage and do all the compute on GPU. So this is really, really fast and really streamlined. Of course, we recommend a decent spec GPU, but you can really get the, uh, harness the advantage of the manual, manual uh, painting, rig painting as well with this new update. I think it's super, super exciting. And of course, you can always smooth the weights. So all the features you expect are all, all there as well. Right, I can do manual weight painting and all that. Okay, so we got GPU manual weight painting acceleration. We have a much enhanced auto weighting feature where you can actually do widget sizing a lot easier. And so both of these features should greatly enhance 
the way we do rigging in Creature 3D. And again, stay tuned for more enhancements because I'm sure this will actually streamline your entire rigging workflow. Lastly, there is a feature that is added behind the scenes, which is multi-core optimizations. So the new Creature 3D Alpha also includes a lot of optimizations in the animation engine, which actually takes advantage of the latest multi-core processors from both Intel and AMD, like Ryzen. And so you should notice immediately a big, huge boost in animation performance as you perform various tasks, like manipulating the various motors and whatnot. So the performance of the entire, entire system has been vastly improved, especially when you have a 6, 8, or even 16-core processor. You should notice these improvements very almost immediately. And we will continue to improve these features as we move along, but I, I think you'll find all of these features extremely ex exciting. So thank you for watching. Go download the free alpha. All features are completely unlocked and enjoy them for your 3D animation and rigging purposes. Thank you for watching this video.